So what is the purpose of the universe? <laughs> oh boy, that's a loaded question. <laughs> um, that's actually a very good question. Uh, we, most of us do not ask that question and we keep running our lives uh, without asking uh, why we are here, who are we, and uh, why is this universe here? Uh, why are we doing what we are doing? Uh, it's like... Uh, are we the only ones here? Are, are we the only ones here? Is there someone else out there? Uh, things like that. So th we have curiosities of our own, but uh, we do not spend enough time or energies to go look for the answers. And quite often, we don't have the patience to go uh, deep into those questions. So we try to find them from reading, you know, books and. Uh, watching programs and uh, but if we look into science for example most of us who have scientific background we know very well that uh, science does not believe in supernatural powers mm. or even it's a very well known that quite a few scientists openly would say that uh, the universe does not have a purpose it's a uh, it's a random, it's uncertainty, it's ruled by uncertainty of quantum mechanics. Mm -hmm. uh, things are uncertain and uh, it's uh, going along, uh, it's not a deterministic universe like what Newton had said. You know, Newton's laws are all deterministic, but that has been all removed by or overtaken by relativity and quantum mechanics. Yet there's symmetry in the universe. Yeah, symmetry is one of the laws, is laws of conservation. I mean, those are deter deterministic laws. And in fact, all the classical uh, laws of the universe are all deterministic. Newton's laws and mathematical laws are deterministic. One plus two is three. Mm -hmm. There's no probability in that. So, uh, but, you know, the science has missed this point of purpose. They will always refer to, uh, to you to say, go to religion. If you have a question like, what is the purpose mm -hmm. of you and me being here or the universe or why there is earth or sun or stars, why is always referred to the religion, philosophy, mm -hmm. and the scope of science has been what and how. So you do experiments to determine what, what's happening, what happens, and then you have theories to uh, answer why, to match the match the ex to explain the experiments what you observe yeah well even, even science though there are scientists that delve into electronic voice phenomena and uh, images showing up on DVD players and they're, they're correct correct mm -hmm. there is uh, they uh, they touch <laughs> they <laughs> they try to dance around it you know they try to go into it but it ultimately science uh, the, the method of science is that thou shall experiment mm -hmm and thou shall measure, measure. If you cannot measure... Then it doesn't exist. Then it does not exist. If you do not, uh, if you cannot repeat it uh, uh, by someone else doing an experiment, you can't repeat what you, are, what you have found, mm -hmm. it's not accepted as reality. So if you're looking at the same ghost, someone else has to come in and run the same experiments? <laughs> exactly, but if mm -hmm. one or two won't suffice. Mm -hmm. Anybody else ought to be able to see it in the same way as you see it. So that's where the difference is. But now why science does not uh, agree with the fact that there is a purpose? Why do they come out with the fact that it's a purposeless universe? And here's the basic, uh, the approach they take is studying the matter, which is the inanimate matter. Mm -hmm. That matter has no free will, it cannot take it cannot think, it cannot uh, uh, do things at its own, at its own it cannot do anything, it's inanimate. Mm -hmm. so it can't act or react. Yeah, it, and it cannot take any actions mm -hmm. uh, in reaction to what it thinks. So how can it have a purpose? Mm -hmm. So now all the phenomena which are based on materialistic uh, studies, and materialistic arguments or measurements, how can they have a purpose? Because they are all inanimate. They do not have 
any action, they cannot act on their own behalf. Mm -hmm. So since they cannot act on their own behalf, they do not have the spontaneity to have a purpose because they are bound by the laws. Uh, like, you know, sun goes, uh, earth goes uh, around the sun. And so it's bound by laws of gravity. Mm -hmm. Now, earth cannot decide that, hey, tomorrow I'm going to go somewhere else. <laughs> you know, it, it does not have that uh, 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 consciousness, so to say, the free will. Same way, whatever we study with Newtonian laws, uh, the laws of gravity, you know, you, you throw a, a stone, it falls. It cannot go up because it does not have its own free will. Mm -hmm. But that's not true about the mind. The neurons that are firing in, in our minds, there is some something inside us which is guiding them how to fire. When we get angry, they fire in a different way. Mm -hmm. when